Hello everybody, welcome to a really really quick video just to explain to you if you are doing the kill a trove scamp in Imperial City sewers or of course if you wish to farm scamps in general how to get this done a lot easier because I see so many people on the forums saying oh this is really difficult, it's going to take forever, how the hell to get this well there's actually a really really quick way to do this and that is that these have specific spawns so many people don't know this, they think it's randomly spawn based but if you know where they spawn, all you have to do is wait on those spawns, wait for the spawn and kill the scamp. So I'm going to give you a normal example. Almost everywhere has free spawns. We're going to take the EP zone here. One can spawn on the mark just located here. It will run south a little bit around the pillar and then it will disappear. One could do exactly the same up just to the north of that. Again, run south, disappears. And then the third in that group will spawn just in this little room and it will run sideways around the pillar once. Now, only one of those will ever come up at a time and they have a cooldown, I believe in that area of 12 minutes, but don't quote me, it's been a while since I did the first achievement for these. All you're gonna have to do is get a little group of you, even if it's just three, one standing on each spawn and call out for each other when they spawn, wait to the last second and then get the kill. However, if you really wanna speed that up, there is a much easier way to do it and that is to come slightly further south to where I am right now and this will be a completely solo farmable spot or duo if you so wish because there are only two possible spawns and that I know of this is the only area in the whole of ice sea that is two spawn orientated so rather than one two or three spawn spawning up north we only have two possible areas and so the chance of finding that scamp is much higher. The cooldown's a couple of minutes longer, but it really is not that relevant. And within half an hour, you should be seeing your first scamp at the maximum. It could easily be within just a couple of minutes, couple of seconds. Um, obviously, it depends how lucky you are on the spawn. You may have just missed it, but one of the two will be up. Now, these spawns are located exactly where I'm facing, will spawn just left of me or in this room, and it will run sideways. Very obvious to see that one. It's pretty bright in that room. The advantage with using this two spawn area, of course, is that if only one of the two spawns is up, well, you know the next is gonna be the other of those spawns. So if you wish to farm multiple scamps, let's imagine you get a cunning instead of a trove, or you're going for the kill 100 scamps achievement, then all you're gonna do is wait for yours to spawn, kill it, change spawn, and go again. You can watch a movie in the cooldown, whatever you want. You know it is cooldown orientated. I believe it's 15, but if anyone knows the exact, put it in the chat. Up north, the disadvantage of course is if the north spawns, it could spawn south or it could spawn here and so you need a spread between those two possible spawns after your first kill. The first kill is always the harder one because obviously you don't know which is going to be up so I might be sat here for a little while waiting. This one will spawn, I wouldn't possibly know because I've just got here but after that it would be here. So as long as I wait on this spawn where I am right now, I will see a scamp, I will kill a scamp and then I will wait down here for the other spawn and I'll get you a quick clip of those and hopefully get my trove scamp.